Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to give you a little bit of an update at the end of this video and I'm also going to share my favorite lippies and this is in response to some of your questions because I know that I'm very lackadaisical about listing my lipsticks and I always seem to get questions on that um, and it always kind of surprises me because I don't have gorgeous lips. <laughs> They're thin, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But so when, that's what I'm going to address and then I'll um, do a little bit of an update on my dad at the end. <laughs> so much for joining me guys I'm going to share with you some of my tried and true lipsticks I am a a creature of habit when I find something I really like whether it's a color whether it's the consistency I kind of really stick with that so I'm often asked what lipstick do you have on well it is it's hard for me to identify a lot because I am a lipstick layer person I do, I layer a lot, but I normally, you know, I, I typically will use a little bit of a lip liner and it is usually the All About Mauve lip liner that I buy from Avon. That has been my lip liner that I've used for eons, eons. I absolutely love that lip liner. I also use some of their brow products, but that's really about it from the Avon line that I use. But I've used the lip liner for a long time. I really like it. I always gravitate to that lip liner no matter how many other lip liners I have in my collection at that moment. So that is one of my tried and trues. And then normally, it depends on what I normally do. I should backtrack a little bit. Normally when I get up and I do my skin care, I also do a gentle lip exfoliation. And currently, probably for the last, mm, well, before COVID anyways, because I think about this in maybe February or even January, I've been using the e.l.f. and it's a sugar scrub. And I put that on my lips. It's kind of rough. One side is rougher than the other, but I just go through my lips and I kind of exfoliate a little bit every morning because at night I'm using lip creams that I put on and all that. So in the morning I exfoliate my lips. Once I'm all set and I'm all ready for my makeup, my lipstick is usually the last thing that I add. The first thing that I add when I'm getting ready for my makeup is my mascara. I, I do it very wacky. I do my mascara first and then I do the my eyeshadows and all that stuff and then I do my foundation uh you know so while while all that's going on and drying I, my sunblock is drying and all that stuff but then I use my lipstick so I have for a long time been using one particular nude brand of lipstick and it's actually Rimmel and it's Kate and I know that it comes in a different packaging now but I have just reordered mine and the only place you can see I'm almost empty I love this. This is the only nude that really works well for me and I'm not willing to spend money to experiment on a ton of different nude lipsticks because every time I've done that I've been disappointed. This nude works well for me. It doesn't turn orange. It, it makes my lips look nice. I like lighter lips rather than darker lips on me. It's my preference. So this is typically my nude. Now, sometimes I use this as a topper more often than not. So if I'm going to be like, for example, today, I have darker hair today. <laughs> so I used, this is one of my favorites. This is, I think it's Orchid by Becca. And I've had this for quite a while too. I use this. This was originally sent to me complimentary via the Octoly Network. I have, I love this. This is a perfect shade I, it's it gives me some color so if i want to have a darker lip this is what i start out with i line my lips i color it in with this usually if i want a darker neutral lip and then very then often i'll top it with my number 45 my rimmel i like that i like the rimmel a lot my lip gloss of choice i have two that i use all the time 
one lip gloss I will use typically when I'm not wearing any lipsticks and that is my City Beauty. This was also sent to me complimentary at one point uh, quite a while ago. This is the only lip gloss that I like to wear without anything else on. So if I'm not having, like I'm home, uh, I'm doing stuff like that, I don't want to have a bunch of makeup on or lipstick on, but I like to have a little lip gloss, it's my City Beauty. And this is the shade, let me see if I can grab the shade, it's called City Lips Clear. This is no shit. City Lips Clear. This is really what I like. Now, typically on top of my lipstick, because I like to add a little shine, no matter what color I'm wearing, I used to always get the Buxom, and I would say for high end, the Buxom uh, White Russian has been my go-to favorite for a long time for high end. I ran out of that before COVID hit, and I haven't replaced it. But what I have been using consistently along with the White Russian all along has actually been this hard candy. And I, I actually like the hard candy glosses a lot. So I had like four of them. I finished two. This one is pretty well almost gone. And this is the lightest shade, which I happen to like the best because it is so light. And it's called Girl Next Door. I really like that a lot. I'm going to definitely, when I next get to the store, I'm going to pick this up because I really like this. This other one I also like. It's just a little bit of a darker shade. It's called Barely There. I, I mean, I actually like both of them, but I just prefer the lighter one on me. Then I have, and I bought these. I love these lipsticks. So depending on what I'm doing, I absolutely love the Color of the World lipsticks a lot, and I have just replaced them. The ones that I really like is called Flawless and Independent. And this is what they look like. Now, with the Color of the World lipsticks, they have very, a very soft formula. So, I'm almost gone on this one. I love this one. <laughs> I just think they're so, I just think they're so pretty, and this one is Flawless. And this one is independent. They are just my colors. They are really, they're just my colors. I really like them a lot. And I have bought them. They're, they don't go into your lines. So, you know, I mean, I really like them. Are they long lasting? I'm not too sure. I don't think you can probably tell. But I have flawless on the top, independent on the bottom. I just really, really like them, and I will probably order them again. I just got another order in, so I'm probably good. I mean, these are almost gone, so I'm probably good for, what, another six months or so. But on top of that, I normally like to have, and these are Maybelline uh, lippies, and my two favorite on my Maybelline is Lust for Blush, and that's 665 and the second one is Romantic Rose. almost gone. It's open as far as it'll go. And definitely will be repurchasing. This one has a little bit more, but not much. So you can tell that these two are the two that I grab all the time. So, it, you know, when I'm talking about lipsticks that I continuously use, those are it. Two things that I carry around with me all the time is a lip gloss during the day. And this is actually, this actually hangs on my my bag and this little cute little keychain or little holder I think I don't know initially what it's supposed to hold I think just a lipstick I have my lip gloss in there I actually got this as a gift when we did the girls weekend in Atlanta from Mata Cyrus I almost I'm gonna link her channel because I always say her name wrong but Mata had given this uh, as a bunch of and some other things too as a gift but I use this all the time so when I go to put my lip gloss on I always think of Mata thank you Mata and my lip gloss that I have in here is just the Bigelow. You get this at Bath and Body Works. Very, very reasonable. I have this in Pearl Mint. I really like it. Pearl Mint. The other thing that I carry around it, I, it's kind of weird how I use this. This is actually from Radiant Labs. And this was also something that was sent to me a while ago via the Octoly Network complimentary in exchange for review. And Radiant Labs, and this is their CBD balm. 
and it's a stick Philips, it says, hydrating stick Philips. Well, when I first got it, I said, oh, it's so thick. You know, it really is, it's thick. But I, I use this probably four or five times a day, and I love the fact that it is thick because if I don't have lipstick on, I go right above my lip, I go into my lip lines, and I give it all a good surge of moisture. I've also been known to dab on the corner of my eyes during the day. I love this stick. So I know it says it's for lips, but I actually use it for a lot of things other than lips on my face. So that's those are my tried and true. I have a stack of lipsticks. I really do. But I gravitate to those. I like those. Those are the ones that I'm always putting on. And depending on my mood, whether I want to go darker, which for me, you know, this is my comfort zone dark. Every time I put darker, darker lipstick on, I feel weird. I just don't, I don't like it on me as much. So that I wanted to share with you. I also wanted to share with you this product that was sent to me from Octoly. Not about lips, I know, but it's from Billion Dollar Babe. I was like, the packaging was so cute when it came in. So this was um, sent to me from Octoly in exchange for a review, complimentary. Billion Dollar Beauty. And they put this little note in here, um, BDB, Billion Dollar Beauty, their team. And they even spelled my name right because a lot of people spell it wrong. And it says, enjoy your products. We can't wait to see your content. So what they sent me was a, and I'm really excited about this because this is so, so travel friendly. It is a highlighter and a concealer stick. And they sent a really nice brush. And so this brush is shackle infused. It's vegan. And it's called a concealer. Now what I like about it is that it's so small but so nice that for me, it's going to be, when I use any kind of things, concealer around my eyes, this is going to be what I'm gonna use. I haven't, I haven't really dipped into the brush, so to speak, yet, but I'm bringing it with me. However, this concealer stick and highlighter stick is the nuts, I really like it. So you get a concealer, very, very emollient for me. I really like it. It's not drying. So if I'm touching up a dab here or there, it's not at all drying. And on one end is a creamy highlighter. And I'm, I'm liking the highlighter. I'm liking the cream concealers. I like the fact that they're creamy and they're not, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but I just put them on my hands. They go on super 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 nice so i've been using this i just i thought the presentation was really awesome love their love the way they did the presentation and a personal note and whenever you get a personal note like that and your name is spelled right i think it's like super super uh super cool so that's it for my lips and i really wanted to to give you that information i also wanted to tell you that you may have seen some videos come you know, be published. Many of you know that my dad passed away. Many of you know that it was extremely close to my dad. I still have a hard time believing that he's really gone, even though I was with him when he passed, and I know he's gone. You know, I I know he's gone. I, I get that. I understand that. It's just really hard to imagine a world without him after all these years. And I know I'm blessed, guys. I know I'm blessed to have had him for as long as I've had him, and to have had a, a dad that was so good and caring. But anyways, what I wanted to say is that you may have seen videos come after my father's passing. Some of my videos have been pre-recorded. I don't even know sequentially when this is going to be published, this one. But I just wanted to tell you, I have gotten so many, so many cards and messages from you. I just, I don't even know where to begin. I have a stack of cards. I've read them. Some of them have long notes in them. And, and, uh, and I was, I'm like, oh my gosh. And, and I know we haven't met, you know, we haven't met. And for you to take the time out of your life to have sent the cards and the notes and the well wishes. And uh, some of you have gone on to the, to the obituary um, for my dad and left notes there. It was, uh, it's like heartwarming. It's so totally heartwarming. And um, when we're going to have a, my dad's service is still going to come. I'm going to be working on, on um, a few things to say for his, when, 
during his service when we come back. So I'm going to be working on that. Jay and I are going to Bar Harbor, Maine. When you see this, we might already be there. I'm not too sure. But my dad's services is going to be in mid-August. We're waiting for my niece to be able to come up and just waiting for a few other things to have aligned into the right order to be able to to do the type of memorial service that we really wanted to remember my dad and all that. But I just wanted to tell you that even though you're seeing videos that might be out of order and all that, and um, I just want you to know that I, ha I am reading all your cards and all your well wishes and, and the things you've sent. It's just, it's so touching and so heartwarming and I just want to thank you all so, so very much. I also want to tell you that I have worked on my smile every single day. I think on one of my, some of you read it or heard it, where I said I didn't know if I would ever be able to smile again. And... For my dad, I'm a smiling. And YouTube, all of you, you just touched me. I just wanted you to know that. I just wanted you to know that, that I read all your messages. And I'm touched beyond. I've also shared them with my mom. And, um. And she's touched as well. And so anyways, I'm getting weepy, aren't I? <laughs> I didn't mean to be weepy. I just wanted to, uh, because I, I know that when it's, when you have videos that are pre-recorded, sometimes you don't want to, you don't, you don't get a chance to say what you might have wanted to say if it was recorded in real time. So anyways, I just want to thank you all. Thank you.